Hi guys, so <laughs> uh, it is like 12 something a.m. and I'm in my car just because I've fallen asleep and um, just after an amazing day, just I was um, with the Rolettes today and um, they're amazing, I had, they had such an amazing energy um, but this was only after bloody there was something that happened in Shoreditch I don't know what it was it was just mad traffic everywhere road closures and I'm not sure what it was but I have a feeling you know there was lots of police involved in terms of there was lots of police presence around so you know uh, but for me in my head I was like I'm late for work they're, they're, they're making me late for work and I couldn't get through and everybody's trying to get in drivers are so crazy honestly and you think in london they're just so everybody's so like tunnel vision to where they need to get to go and it's like they don't care what anyone else thinks or any or where anybody else is going or they care enough to give people a room they're just like i want to get here i want to go there so they'll like they'll push through and they'll like you know cut people off and you're like look we're all going nowhere really slowly so you you might as well just calm yourself and then just you know accept that there is traffic and obviously something bad had really happened and um, I found out later that it was really bad but to be fair I'm gonna go and google it just because just to make sure what it is because I don't know but anyway it meant that I was two hours late for my session because I was going around and like I know Shoreditch pretty well so I was trying every single avenue and everywhere was closed and then I went round I'd go all the way around into Old Street madness mad 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 but I got there in the end and had a great I had a great session with the Rolettes and yeah it's just an amazing energy and sort of teaching them basically I was teaching them something that they had taught me they had um you know put together stuff that they had they had you know made up last week and then I was putting it all together into a routine that yeah it's going to be their ensemble piece which is really cool and um yeah they just have such a great energy and for for young people with disabilities it's so amazing to see their creativity and their just zest for creative life and it's really nice to see the the community that they create within the company because they are a company and um the support that they give each other and the the space they allow each other it's it's beautiful to watch and it's really beautiful to be around and i am inspired and they inspire me so yeah that was an amazing thing and i got a text from a friend and she was like oh i'm gonna be i'm a little nervous about making this speech so um nor do you mind being in the audience it'd be great to have a well audience in the just around so you know uh yeah because i feel you've got calming presence about i don't think she said that but i mean i feel like she you know i've spoken to her about how i dance and how i perform so she's always like oh it's a scary thing so do you mind just being in the audience really last minute but um don't worry if you can't come and say oh man she's one of my really good friends and i love her so much she's so yeah she's got such a beautiful soul so I was like, of course I'm going to try and be there, of course. But with all these closures, it was just madness. So, you know, I was, I was rushing to try and get there. But actually, I made it. But I think I was about 20 minutes late. And I obviously missed it. And I was like, oh, man. And um, yeah, this thing was in a church. And um, I'm, yeah, I've not been to church in a long time. I only go for other people's occasions these days and um yeah so and it's it's funny how as as a roman catholic being brought up roman catholic i still remember all the responses and it's sort of ingrained in me and even so just watching the altar servers serve i mean way back when when i was younger um i was an altar server and just seeing what the you know the traditions were and they had to do it was just funny to to know that I used to be that person however many years ago 20 I don't know 20 odd years ago when I was you know just after my first communion and all this kind of stuff that I was there serving and I was really I was quite reverent and 
reverent, is that the word? Um, I don't know, religious, I guess. And, you know, believes in, I believed in the word and all this kind of stuff. And um, over the years, I've seen the potholes and, you know, all the sort of the social, not social media, but this, this idea of, you know, there are flaws and are there are with every religion but um i started to see it more and more and i you know i i became more i'm not an atheist i'm not a i'm not so hardcore i don't have a religion but you know i sort of discovered uh buddhism when i was in new york and thanks to john and carla but um yeah it was a uh, it's one of those things that with buddhism there's something about not they don't call it enlightenment these they um in the modern sort of um Nishiran Buddhism they they call it something else and I can't remember now it's been that long since I've chanted or done anything like that but it's um yeah it's um there was something about it that was so attractive the Nam Myoho Renge Kyo um chant the lotus chant is um you know uh John broke it down he gave me a business card and he broke it down into all the different points and I was like, wow, this is, when I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't know what this is. But then I was like, you know, I'll take your number, I'll take your email. And we kept in contact and they took me to a meeting and I was like, wow, yeah, this is, you know, inspiration enough for me to, and they, they bought me some beads and I was like, okay, cool. I start chanting and then I got really into it. And then I got back to the UK and I was like, you know what, I was kind of keeping it up for a bit. And it was really enriching my life. And then it somehow sort of fizzled out in the sense that I wasn't, you know, keeping up and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's a sad thing because they sit on my desk and I see them every day. But I just, I don't pick them up and I don't chant as much. And you know what, doing this video, I feel like I, I'm going to start again just because I, I miss it. And um, it always made me feel really good. And chanting, there was something about... There's a, there's a poem or someone sent me about what chanting does to you. And it's, you know, the, the, the way you chant and the way we sing, the way we have, use music in our lives, it resonates with our soul and how it, yeah, it vib the vib vibrations that um, it creates, you know, these are good vibrations. Vibrations. Anyway, and then, you know, they, they enrich your life, you're rich in soul and they keep you healthy, this kind of stuff. But yeah, and I was in this church and just being like, wow, religion is something else, isn't it? And it's just like, wow. And how it's sort of come in and out of my life and, you know, people, um, certain people are very, yeah, they're like, they're very dependent on it and they believe in it and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And that's, that's fair dues. And yeah, but it's just an interesting thing that, um, when you're, um, yeah, when you believe in something so much that it becomes so inherent that you pass it on and it's great. I don't mind, but then it's when people start preaching at you and they just like telling you, look, Jesus can save you. Jesus can save you. God will save you. God will heal you. Look, I have a medical condition. I know that I can't walk again in terms of it would the effort that it would take is something that is physically strenuous and I know medically what that means it means hours of physio it means hours of this and stuff that you know I don't care to invest in because I want to live my life I want to live my life how I can how I want to so I know that there is a deity of some sort and there is and I believe in karma I believe in karma is my philosophy you do good and good will come to you you do bad and bad will come to you that's it deities God Allah whatever that's cool and you know everybody everybody's entitled to their religious beliefs and I don't knock it because you know who you know what you choose to believe in that's you don't force it on me that's all I say anyway but yeah and then you know my friend and her beautiful family invited me to come and um into their home and sort of share food and you know have dinner and then quite the asian way is you know like you know they've made lots of food they're inviting me in 
and we're just gonna munch and just have a good time and um <laughs> as with you know most things i tend to bring lots of technology so my sort of updated iphone and um my speakers and stuff my piece my speakers died but you know i did manage to sort of bang out some ain't nobody mm, does me better and then the beginning of heads high you know what milo and then it died anyway but then like there are kids about and obviously when kids are around and there are adults around it's hard to sort of engage and i don't want i didn't you know for some reason i was just like do you want to play some games and then they brought up heads up and <laughs> the jokes that came out of this you know and the heads up brings out it brings out something in people and you're just like wow <laughs> i did not see that coming and it's really interesting because i've known these girls like these um you know my friends for a long time since secondary school and um yeah they continue continue to support and um I, in turn i support them and it's yeah i value their friendship so much and they're amazing their family is amazing and you know it was just so nice to be in that kind of asian environment where it's just about food good times and you know family and it's just yeah it was just beautiful i was so knockout i got home and literally i closed my eyes and i'm you know woken up like an hour later i was like yo yeah i had some good food like mutton that curry mutton or oh, curry chicken those oh man I was like, auntie, you need to, you need to show me how to make some stuff. So yeah, anyway, that was really cool. And then like, um, yeah, just like good conversation and it was just fun. And I don't tend to, I mean, I think more recently I've been making time to spend with friends and stuff like this. And, um, I've been trying to make time to spend with friends. And ever since I had, um, uh, my belated <laughs> birthday party, it was just nice to, um, yeah just nice to spend some time so yeah it's been a good day and you know I, I made a video yesterday but I was so tired <laughs> I watched it back and I was like I was falling asleep in the video making a video and it was just it was just a little bit ridiculous because I was nodding off and then I'd be like oh yeah so um follow me on uh, oh yeah so follow me on oh it was actually ridiculous but no worries so I have started a page actually i had a blog page on my website and i just haven't updated it so i'll be updating it now with all these videos so um the website is here and uh, you can follow me uh, on facebook is at laura d dances on instagram is at laura d dances on twitter it's at it's all good no it's <laughs> at x it's all good x and i'm on youtube um linkedin and stuff like this so google me um keep in touch follow share hashtag tell your friend um and this is just me everyday life just reflecting on my days and yeah and um yeah so i will no doubt be posting another video and um the merchandise video is coming it's coming at the beginning of december and i was thinking I was going to do it the soon after, a couple of videos ago, but um, I'll, I'll wait for December, Christmas time. And um, there's also possibility of being some Laura D Dances cards. Ooh. Anyway, so I will check you later and yeah, have a good one. Um, have a good Sunday. Hope you have a restful Sunday and um, just if you can jam if you're not working like i am um <laughs> uh but yeah make sure you make time for friends and that's my cue to be out of here all right cheers bye